Hey guys, Sark here from Sark e Tech, and in today's video we have some great news for Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra owners. What we have is we have the One UI 6.1 update now ready. Now I do want to let you know that even the unlock model is getting earlier than usual. We were expecting in the beginning of April, but it is getting it right now. So let's update this and see all the new features but you can see it is almost three gigabytes in size. It ends in CXCJ and it says One UI 6.1. And also over here, you can tap on all changes to see a full list. Okay, so I like this breakdown, but there is a full list available of all the changes. But don't worry, I'm gonna show you guys all the features one by one. Let's tap on install now. We're gonna be right back. All right, so the update is now complete. It says, welcome to One UI 6.1. Get the most out of your Galaxy with advanced intelligence features. That's the Galaxy AI. We'll look at all the features. You can either explore or go to home screen. If I tap on explore, it's gonna show you all the AI features that have been added. I can tap on next. And then it says you're all set up. Then I can tap on done and we are inside. Let's see what we get. All features one by one. All right, so the very first feature I'm gonna talk about is the circle to search feature. Now you have it. So press and hold on the bar. When you do these things for the first time, you might get some tutorials. So I'm just gonna tape try it now. Okay, and there we go. So if I circle this, I'm gonna get Google search results based on what I circled. And look at this, I'm getting very specific and similar results uh, when I circle the area. So you can circle anything that you want. Doesn't have to be the home screen. So for example, if I took a photo of a camera lens, now if I press and hold, and if I circle to search, it is gonna get me information about that exact product, which is crazy. You can see right here, that is the camera lens I have right there. Okay, so circle to search anywhere. Now one thing, when I go to the settings, and if I go to display, and if I scroll down just a little bit, I want you guys to know under navigation bar, when you have swipe gestures, circle to search is enabled, then you press and hold by activating that. Okay, but just so you know, if you have the buttons enabled, then circle to search is gonna be activated by tapping the home button, press and hold, the home button to activate the circle to search, which also means the assistant app is gonna be swiped from the inward. So that's gonna be the assistant, and that's press and hold is gonna be circle to search, just so you guys know, all right? Let's move on. The next amazing feature, pinch the screen, tap on wallpaper and style, tap on change wallpapers, and now we have the creative generative AI wallpapers. So let me show you one example in case you have not seen it before, but basically you can create fresh papers out of these options or these options, as you can see, that's the night, luminous, mineral, they're also here. So if I were to tap on the imaginary, okay, and then I get this text and I can say a surreal, instead of lamp, I'm gonna say a castle, okay? And then I'm gonna tap on flowers and I want the castle to be made of let's say silk, and then I want a color that is, let's say, burgundy and maroon. I'm gonna tap on generate, and I'm gonna tap on agree for the very first time, and that is gonna generate a completely fresh imaginary wallpaper, and it's gonna give me several options, as you can see, okay? So when I select one of these as my home screen, look at what I can do. So that's done. Now when I go back inside here, that is gonna be saved right here and I can tap it and I can regenerate and the regeneration is also gonna be completely new and fresh, as you can see, okay? And you can also customize that again and again as many times as you want. Now, one thing I wanna let you guys know is if you go to the settings and if you go over to advanced features, okay? And if you go to labs, there is an option in the S24 Ultra known as the Photo Ambient Wallpaper. That's one feature you're not gonna see here, just so you know, in, ca in case you're wondering where that is. So that did not come down, but it might come down in the next updates. Now moving on, we have Advanced Intelligence 
features. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Looks like we got basically everything. So let's go over these one by one. Let me just start with the photo editor. So basically you go to the photo editor, go to the gallery and pick any photo that you want and then tap on edit and you're gonna quickly get access to the AI features. They're gonna look like this. Basically it's gonna look like this everywhere. I'm gonna show you in a minute. So tap on this and then you have all these various options. So, and let's see what we can do with this one. For example, let's say with this phone, I wanna make it look bigger. So I tap on it first to just to select it and it's intelligence selection. You can draw as well, but if you tap on objects, it'll intelligently select them. Then you press and hold, okay? And then I can move it a little bit and I can make it a little bit bigger. Let's just put it right here, okay? Now I'm gonna tap on generate and using AI, it's gonna make sure everything looks natural and normal on this image that was edited with AI. So let's see what happens. Is that phone gonna be actually large? Yep. So look at the way it looks. Now here's one more example. So in this image, we have five people here. I'm gonna tap on edit. By the way, you can do these AI applications to photos you download or photos you take yourself, doesn't matter. So I'm gonna tap on the button. And what I'm gonna do in this example is I'm gonna make Zelensky in the middle disappear. So you tap on it, he gets selected. Now I can move him around if I want to, but I'm gonna tap on erase. And then I'm gonna tap on generate and let's see what the results are with this AI function. So that's what we have. You can see that the result is quite incredible. The person has disappeared, but the flag has been recreated. The window has been recreated. So look, this is the original, and this is the AI edited version. It looks super clean, as if there was no person there in the very beginning. Okay, then you tap on done, you save as a copy. So that's a great example. Another thing that's great that you now have access to is the ability to turn any video into a slow motion video. So I'm gonna play this video where the car is just driving in, in water, as you can see. So if I press and hold anywhere on the display, it's gonna do the slow motion situation, all right? So now it is playing in slow motion. If I let it go, it's gonna go back to high, press and hold, slow motion. You can do this for any video that you want. And if you tap on edit, okay, you can turn regular videos into slow motion videos without having to shoot them in slow motion initially. And you can see, I can change the speed of the slow motion. I can actually slice it there the way I want it. So if I wanna do just this area, look at this. Now that's gonna be slow motion as you can see, which is fantastic, okay? Then I can save it or whatever uh, right from here as you can see but I can transform any video into a slow motion video using this AI feature. Also, one more thing that you guys are asking about is if I go to the settings and if I go to display, actually no, lock screen and AOD, you can see that for the always on display, we do not have the full screen always on display for now, okay? So we're just gonna have the regular always on display. If I tap on this, nothing happens. I can do show always. I do believe they're gonna fix these things with updates. There is a little, as you can see, a bug here. So this clock for some reason is pushed that way. Look, when I disable it, that's what it looks like. Okay, so I don't know why, but there we go. Now it's good, but uh, let's see what it looks like. Okay, so that's the current always on display. So I do believe they're gonna fix all that stuff with a upcoming update. Again, look at that bug, all righty. So let's see what else is going on. Now I do wanna let you know real quick that the animations are now smoother. These are the same animations you get with the S24 series. So they are smooth. They're all the One UI 6.1 animations, snappier and overall more harmonious. So even though 6.0 wasn't that bad, this is just slightly better. Let me know down below if you are feeling the difference. Now going back into the AI features, look at this, we're gonna go right here. We have a bunch of real-time translation features that are built into the phone and all that good stuff. So let me show you the interpreter feature, okay? So we're gonna go inside, okay? You have a bunch of language packs you can download and install. Make sure you download the packs that you wanna use. So in my case, let me just say I wanna use uh, German and French, okay? It's gonna download that language pack. And then when I go back out here, try to exit, I'm gonna get the interpreter. So look at this, the interpreter feature is a live translation feature. 
So basically, let me just tap on download. So that's just gonna quickly download the Spanish language. Here we go. Okay, so installing the Spanish language pack. This is all happening because I'm using all these things for the very first time after the update. It's gonna happen to you as well. So now you can see uh, over here, it's me talking. On the other side, the other person is gonna hear what I say in real time. It's gonna get translated to German. You can pick languages from here. So if I say, hey, how are you doing? Hey. So you can see it got translated in real time to the other person. If they were responding to me in German, I would get their translation over here. I'm just going to tap. Okay, so you can ignore that because it thought I was speaking German and it translated whatever I thought I was saying in German, which obviously is not real. So that's how it works though. This is the other person. That's you. You talk by tapping. And you can also tap this button here and flipped it over so the other person, if they're sitting on this side of the table, they can see what you're saying, they can read it, and they can talk into it. So that's the interpreter. Now one thing that's very important with the interpreter is if you pull this thing down and go over here, and if you tap on edit, all right, uh, and then tap on edit one more time, you are able to get interpreter right from here. It should be here, already maybe here, let's see. It looks like it's right there already. So if you want to quickly access the app, it is in your quick toggles. You tap it, it launches that application. All right. So moving on, if I go to the settings again, the same translation features are also built in to the phone application. So you can get real-time translation during voice calls, which I cannot show you right now because the phone does not have a proper SIM card. But let's talk about the Samsung keyboard options. Powerful options right here. So I am in a text message right now and I typed in something really unprofessional. It says, hey, how you doing? What's up, son? So if I tap the intelligence icon, which is right here, I'm going to get three options. I'm going to get the chat translation option. I'm going to get the writing style, spelling and grammar. First, let's do spelling and grammar. You can see it's going to get the text I type and it's going to fix the grammar. And then I can tap on insert now it is properly grammared up. I'm going to tap it again. I'm going to say writing style. It's going to take that text. It's going to give me all these options. That's the original. That's the professional. That's a casual way of saying it. That's the social way of saying it. Social media, hashtags, and all that. And that's the polite way. So after I choose one of these that I like, again, I tap on insert. And now initially, whatever I wrote there has been translated to this nicer looking text message, and then I can send it right over. And I also have the option, like I said, to do chat translation, and that is gonna work only if you're talking to somebody who's sending you a different language as a response, and you're responding in English, you can tap this guy, and it's gonna find out what's going on, it's gonna convert everything so you can read it back and forth without any problem. We have English to English right now, so you cannot see it, but you get the idea, all right? So that's the keyboard features for Samsung. Let's go back in. Next, I want to talk about some powerful AI features built in to the Samsung Notes application. By the way, I forgot to mention, you can click any one of these guys to get some more details and also change some corresponding settings. Let me launch the Notes app and show you what I can do with AI in Samsung Notes. All right, so I have the Samsung Notes up. You can see it right here. And to use the intelligence options, you're going to find the button. It's right here, the intelligence button. Don't confuse this button with the one that you get on the keyboard. That has the separate functions I showed you guys. This one, when you tap it, allows you to auto format, summarize, correct the spelling, and translate a given block of text. So look at this, auto format. I'm going to say, let's turn this into meeting notes. I'm going to have a meeting about safe driving, okay? maybe with my employees, look at this. Safe driving tips, it turns that paragraph into bullet points and small sections. And I can pick different format for the looks, all right? That's one thing you can do, and I can tap on replace, and that's gonna replace what I just had with this one. Let me undo that. Let's uh, tap this again. Let's do summarize. Now it's gonna create a summary of what I just have here. I can add it to the existing text or I can replace it. Now I have a summary, okay? So powerful options to create summaries, meeting notes, 
or even, like I said, correct any spelling mistakes, as you can see, built into the Samson notes. Then we have the voice recorder. Please, let's just pull it up. The voice recorder. You might get a tutorial because it's the first time. If I tap over here, I'm going to talk into it, all right? Hey, how you doing? What's up? What's going on? This is just a test. We are running it. One UI 6.1 Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. I'm going to tap on stop. I'm going to save it. Okay, so we're going to go inside. And look at what I can do. I can do a transcription. So whatever I said now is going to turn into text very, very quickly. And also it knows that only one person was speaking. If it recognizes additional sounds, it's going to say speaker two and whatever. On top of that, you can get a summary for these things. Okay, so that transcript is too short to summarize. But if, you were, if your teacher was given a speech or a lecture and you record the whole thing, you can then tap over here to summarize it and even tap this one uh, on the top right here. Let's tap again to translate it. So that's another AI feature built in to Samsung Notes right there. Let's go back. I mean, voice recorder feature. Let's talk about the Samsung Internet feature. Now, this one is also pretty great. So here's some article on the website. Uh, it can be a news article, could be any article. Unless it's too long for you guys to read and you're in a time crunch, all you do is tap the intelligence button on Samsung Internet and you are able to get the summarize feature, which, which is going to take that long article. It's going to give you a quick summary of all the important parts in that actual article. Okay, so that's going to save you time and even see if it's important enough to actually dig in and read even further. You can also translate and copy the summary. You can tap over here. You can get a standard or detailed summary if you please. All right. So those are the AI features you now have available on the S23 Ultra. We also have some One UI 6.1 features of which I'm going to be making a video as well. So stay tuned. And also you have the option if you don't want to use cloud AI for privacy purposes, you can only enable the option to use data on the device only. If you do this, some of these options are going to get disabled just so you know. I would just leave it on and you're going to be good to go. All right. So that's it. All right. So that brings us to the end of this video. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Stay tuned for the full One UI 6.1 feature list video for the S23 Ultra. All right, guys. Have a great day.